and introduce yourselves. Who are you and what's the name of your band? Hello, we are Hui Sheng Yuetuan, Echo from Taiwan. Taiwan. All right, and uh, I'm the bass, Cho. Cho. I'm the singer, Ko Chang. Ko Chang. Uh, guitarist, Jun. I'm the drummer, Yo Yo. Yo Yo, pleasure, pleasure meeting you all and a fantastic gig last night. Appreciate and thank you very much. This is not your first time playing in America, no? Yeah. The second time. Second, second time. time. So yeah. when, when was the first time you came to the U.S.? The first time was in, in March. It was in Texas, Austin, South by Southwest. Oh, that's, fantastic. That's our first time to be mm -hmm. in state, and that is this is our second time mm -hmm. in New York City. What, really, was, really what was it like playing at South by Southwest compared to CMJ in New York? I mean, any differences to uh, you notice? Other than different cities. Yeah, the skill, uh, I suppose. We, I think that South by South was a bigger skill and more bands, more people, uh -huh. and a lot more. Uh, and there are many famous bands, famous uh -huh. South by South West. Mm -hmm. And because uh, Austin is, uh, uh, comparing compar compar with New York, is a small town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we think that the whole city is, is celebrated. The South by Southwest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but in CMJ there are more uh, indie bands, mm -hmm. so we can see some really new music to us. Yeah, and we can discover some bands we never heard before, but they are also great from all around the world. And the New York City is a very big and multicultural city. Yeah, and we enjoy the, the, the days here. Yeah. And you're no stranger to New York, from what I understand. <laughs> yeah. So tell us your story. Uh, I was the student of NYU. Yeah. And uh, my major is uh, computer science. Computer science. Yeah. That's a computer science major. Okay. Yeah, Ten years ago. Uh, the day after my birthday uh, in 2001, mm -hmm. yeah, I came to New York City, and uh, three days later, uh, the 911 happened. Yeah, so uh, although I just stayed here for three months, but uh, the connection because many of many of things happened in that period. Uh, also. This, uh, despite 911, because that's the turning point of my life. Uh -huh. I have to make the decision to, if I want to be a com computer engineer or musician, if I uh, should stay in New York or I should go back to Taiwan. Yeah. So, so that's the so the connection with the New York City uh, is very meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's my pleasure to and very excited to revisit the city. Okay, so, yeah, and what did your parents say to that when they said, you know what, I'm not going to be a computer <laughs> science, uh, I'm not going to be a computer engineer, I'm going to be to Taipei. What was their reaction? Uh, we had a, a big family revolution. All right. Yeah. And they are, of course, they are angry. They was angry. The after ten years, uh, our bands made some great, yeah, and they can sort it. And of course, we we have many communications mm -hmm. in these two years, yeah. And I think now they can truly support and understand why I choose to be a musician. Yeah. That's, so it took them a little while, but they finally understood. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, as uh, compared to all the other bands that performed last night, and pardon me for saying this, but it seems to me that your music is actually much darker than the other two bands. Yes. Um, that I wouldn't say. That I wouldn't say darker. I would say more like if you are saying the music with a color, mm -hmm. I would say it's more like a silver color. Silver. Not that dark because mm -hmm. because the lyrics actually is not speaking about dark things. Mm -hmm. Speaking about uh, inspirations, mm -hmm. and life, uh, meaningful of life, mm -hmm. and speaking of love, mm -hmm. and the way we're. Uh, performing could be more silver color. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that more is of a, as we say in America, the gray area. The gray area, and yeah. maybe we could be more heavier. But uh, I would, I would say that it's more rock. Mm -hmm. Of course, definitely. Yeah. So how did you guys all meet? We meet, um, we meet in college. Uh -huh. uh, it's about 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a club in the college. It's called Echo Club. 
at Coke Club. Club. Yeah, but it, it was founded in uh, almost 50 years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the purpose of this club? It's just a rock and roll club. Rock and roll okay. club. Yeah, but uh, I don't know why they choose the name Echo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, in the summer, in uh, 90, 1998, mm -hmm. yeah, because uh, we are fail in a regular semester. No, so. not me. You fail. All the guys fail except for her. All right. Okay, so. So so we so we uh, have to stay when everybody have the summer vacation. Uh, yeah. Summer school. Yeah, we have summer school. Yeah. And uh, there are some pubs. Mm -hmm. they, need, they need bands to do the cover songs. Uh, and we're like, yeah, we can make some money. Right okay, yeah. so, so we, what so kind we of get cover songs did you do? Uh, Many of many many, many uh, from the, the Ze Led Zeppelin, the Doors to uh -huh. the Radiohead uh -huh. and Blur and uh -huh. the Oasis, but also some uh, Chinese rock music. Oh, tell me more about that. Uh, so, what were some of the Chinese rock bands you covered? Uh, there's one band, or I should say, one singer, rock singer. It's called Uba. Uba. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he has a he has a nickname. Or AKA is known as uh, King of Rock of Taiwan. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, the music style is kind of like a blues rock. Uh -huh. Yeah, a blues hard rock music. Mm -hmm. But uh, he really did some very root Taiwanese spirit mm. in his music. So his influence is very strong in uh, Taiwan mm -hmm. over the over this uh, about 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I I I once teach uh, guitars uh -huh. in a uh, prison. Mm -hmm. Really? Youth, youth prison. They're really? all very young men, teenagers. teenagers. Juvenile prison, okay. Juvenile, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the first time I, I came, I went there, I told them some uh, Western rock music songs and nobody, nobody want to hear me. They just, uh, I'm not, we are not interested. But the second time, I told them some Ubai's songs. Yeah. After that, they all love me. Oh. <laughs> because they love Ubai. It's, it's great that you have, uh, you, do, you also do music therapy. That's a, that's very important. Uh, yeah. Music therapy is very important. That's right. So, and I understood that you know, from uh, generally speaking, a lot of people say Taiwan is known for a lot of blues rock. Mm -hmm. A lot of blues, blues rock. Yes. Blues rock. So, do you like American blues music as well, or? Yeah, he loves. He loves. All right, now Stevie, you. Yeah, uh, like, like I love S R V. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yes, yeah, yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah, uh -huh. I also study the style of, mm -hmm. of Jimmy. Style. Jimmy style. Yeah. And but and also the white truck, the jet white. Yeah. Jack yes. Jack white. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got guitar. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So and um, and also since you play the drums, what? When did you start playing the drums? Uh, in my college, oh, maybe I played for maybe ten years. Uh, every yeah. ten years. Okay. Yeah. So. Now I understand that you know you're the, the two two out of three bands last night are female drummers, yeah. and uh, there are other Asian bands from other Asian countries that have Asia, uh, female drummers. And uh, I have to say, as an Amer as an American, it's quite sad. I feel quite ashamed that we don't have any real bands with the female drummers. That's kind of weird. And you're excellent. Who are some of your favorite drummers? Do you take influence from? Um, uh, male or female? Drummers in general. Uh, I think about that. Female drummer? Carpenter? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's the, I mean, Carpenter. Karen Carpenter? Uh -huh. Yeah. Because, but, yeah, uh -huh. at the beginning, she's a drummer. Right, correct. Yeah, after that, uh, she's a uh, famous singer. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I saw her play the drum and sing at the same time on YouTube, mm -hmm. I'm so shocked. Mm -hmm. Because uh, she, uh, she 
she does his job really well. I mean, yeah, she playing does. and singing. So I practice a lot about uh, playing drum and singing at the same time. That's tough. Yeah. So the only other person that you could think of that could play drums and sing well is probably Phil Collins. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I learned how to be elegant and be wild, be powerful at the same time. Because as a female drummer, um, the um, target. Specific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a female drummer, you can play wild and play elegant at the same time. At the same show, you can um, uh, you can perform the. You know, uh, it's a phenomenon. Features with these powerful things, and the beats mm -hmm. and the grooves, mm -hmm. that it's really, really special in our band. Mm -hmm. It's excellent, yeah, absolutely. So, who are some of your favorite bands? Um, many of them. For what else? Favorite For me, bands? Uh, at the beginning, the reason why I love rock music is uh, the Beatles. Because mm -hmm. when I in uh, senior high school, mm -hmm. uh, I have a trip to England. Ah. Yeah. And we had some English lessons, English class. Mm -hmm. And the teacher told us um, the Lennon's lyrics, like woman, uh -huh. imagine, uh -huh. and some karaoke song like uh, We are living in a yellow story. Yeah. yeah. And so after that, I started to listen to the Beatles music. Mm -hmm. But uh, the the one that really uh, really inspired me, opened my mind, is Sway. Really? Yeah. Because uh -huh. at that first time, I hear uh, his voice, Brian Anderson's voice. Mm -hmm. the, the, I, I still remember as the song called "So Young," mm -hmm. and it started with. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a uh, midnight. Uh, when I was 17, mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like uh, I, like a miracle to me. Yeah. So after that, after that, I I think I think I, I want myself to become a preacher of music mm -hmm. because I want everybody knows how beautiful and how uh, how nice is the music. Can Give it, can give us. Yeah, yes. that's why I told everybody. And you? What are some influences? I was started by the British band like Oasis, Radio Hat, Sweat, Coldplay, Travis, and in the recent years, I have more flavor bands like The Strokes from mm -hmm. States and. Raphael Sadik. Raphael Sadik, yeah. And I heard more Motown music. Really? Okay. Like James Jimerson. Uh -huh. And so, more variety in these two years. Mm -hmm. So, I can't say the favorite band because in all music category, I do have a favorite. Mm -hmm. In British one, in a metal one, in a hip hop one, mm -hmm. blues one. Mm -hmm. So, they're all my favorite. <laughs> And you, you love Stevie Ray Vaughan as well. Stevie, yeah. Stevie. Uh, my favorite band. Uh, there are many, many bands I like, but the most is the is the Muse. Which one? Muse. Muse, Muse? okay. Yeah, okay. because uh, Muse was invited to Taiwan. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, two or three years ago. So they invited. Oh wow. 2007. Seven. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was in the festival, and uh, I was shocked. Like, like, you were there. <laughs> you were there. Right. Yeah. It's an incredible sound. Yeah. Wow. Because the sound is amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guitarist Matt is mm -hmm. inspiring me because he used a lot of effects. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and the sounds are very, very melodic. Yeah. Very melodic. And besides Karen Carpenter, so what are some of your experiences? Yeah, my, my influences rather. Yeah, I, I love Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney? Yeah, yeah. because not only his skill, his songwriting, mm -hmm. but also his uh, attitude, I mean, mm -hmm. in life. and. Uh, uh, he is very active. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he play every day, mm -hmm. and and he uh, um, uh, write a song every day. I mean, mm -hmm. 
now he married third, third marriage, right? <laughs> Let's hope that he's not going to marry a crazy woman ever again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he is uh, in, in love every day, I think. Mm -hmm. That's a good attitude to have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very, very disciplined too. He's very disciplined. Yes. Yeah. So, and uh, thank you so much for taking the time thank you. and the thank afternoon. You. And uh, please come back to New York soon. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank All you. right. Bye. 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 Bye.